Okay. What is up, everybody? This is the Wrestling Fan 410. Back again here with another video. And this video is going to be a day in the life of, of uh, me, TV Fish 15. Hello. Edgehead 1992. So. <laughs> uh, going to WWE SmackDown, aka Edge Appreciation Night. So we'll just get back to you when we get inside. Thank you for watching. All right, guys. So these are my seats. Okay, I good seat. I got the new Randy Orton T-shirt. The grossy. But you probably can't hear me right now, so I'll just, um, yes, yeah. talk to you guys after. I got gold.
What is up everybody, it's the Wrestling Fan 410 back again here, and um, this video, well, it's not really a video, this clip is gonna, supposed to be the last part of the Smackdown video, I was gonna make it on Tuesday, but uh, the camera died, so now it's all charged up, cause I'm going to Night of Champions tonight, so yeah, I thought I'd just make this a double day in the life of so, let me just show you what I got at Night of Champion. I mean, sorry, I haven't even been there yet. Let me just show you what I got at SmackDown. Okay. So, first off, I got the new Broski headband. Right there. And, just hold on just a second. Let me just put that there. Is it shaking? I didn't even know this existed until I went. But the new Randy Orton t-shirt, I'm not sure what it's called yet. Here is the back. RKO. Pretty cool. Had to pick that up. So, yeah, I, and I'm also just going to give my thoughts on SmackDown. You guys probably already know what happened. It was a decent Raw. I mean, did I say Raw? I meant SmackDown. It was a decent SmackDown. But, um, Edge's Appreciation Night was a lot better than, like, the matches and stuff. Like, just to see Rhino there... Edge's mom, Trish Stratus, uh, Bret Hart, Christian just being himself, not being heel Christian, that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, that was really fun. They did the last, um, Christian and Edge did the last five second pose ever. Um, so that was pretty cool, but I couldn't take a picture of it. Um, they had the cutting edge. I'm sure you guys all saw that. It was alright. Um, uh, Mystico, Real Sin Cara, uh, returned. Ted DiBiase returned, making a match at Night of Champions, Cody Rose versus Ted DiBiase. Um, what else happened? Not much else big stuff happened. But yeah, it was an overall decent show. Um, yeah, so I'll just see you guys when I am on my way to Buffalo. So yeah, alright, peace. 
All right, so these are my quick predictions for tonight's Night of Champions pay-per-view. So let's just start this off because I don't want this to take too long. Okay, so first, the Intercontinental Championship. Uh, Cody Rose versus Ted DiBiase. I am taking Cody Rose to win this match because he hasn't had a pay-per-view um, title defense yet. And I'm thinking Ted DiBiase is going to win the title around Vengeance sometime around there. Or maybe Hell in the Cell or Survivor Series. But yeah, I think Cody Rose is going to win this one. Fatal four-way match for the U.S. Championship. John Morrison versus um, Jack Swagger versus Alex Riley versus Dolph Ziggler. I either think Alex Riley or... No, sorry. I think Jack Swagger is going to win this. Jack Swagger deserves a push. I think he's going to turn face with Vicky Guerrero. Um, and yeah, I think uh, he's going to be the U.S. champion. And I think that's just going to uh, start a feud up with Dolph Ziggler and him. Well, there's already a feud. Sorry, what am I saying? A bigger feud. Okay, next match. Uh, Air Boom versus The Miz and uh, R-Truth. For the Tag Team Championships. The Miz and R-Truth have to win this match. Honestly, Air Boom is a pretty good tag team. And they just won it. But, really, uh, R-Truth got his push for the year, it seems. And The Miz needs a championship around his waist. Kofi Kingston should be back in the U.S. title picture, and Evan Bourne should soon be in the U.S. title picture. But so I'm taking our truth and the Miz to win it. Divas Championship match: Beth Phoenix versus Kelly Kelly. I think Kelly Kelly is going to re uh, retain. And then after, I think Natalia and Beth Phoenix are going to beat up Kelly Kelly after the match. Or Natalia is. And then either uh, Eve is going to interfere and help. Or Michelle McCool is going to return and turn face and help Kelly Kelly. But that's, yeah. What is left? Okay, um, Randy Orton versus Mark Henry for the World Heavyweight Championship. I'm taking Randy Orton to win this by disqualification because I think Christian is going to interfere with the match. And then I think after the match, Mark Henry is going to lay out both Randy Orton and Christian, making this either a triple threat match or a fatal four way match with Sheamus at. Hell in the Cell. But yeah, uh, Randy Orton to win by disqualification. Okay, John Cena versus Alberto Del Rio for the WWE Championship. I'm thinking uh, Alberto Del Rio is going to win this match. Uh, no disqualification, I mean, like, just legally, like, that's not the right word, but, um, like, clean, in a clean match, I think... He's going to win, of course, by submission. And, yeah, um, John Cena is going to lose for the third pay-per-view in a row. Yeah, I think third pay-per-view in the row. In a row. So, yeah, and now the main event, Triple H for CM Punk, no disqualification match. I'm taking Triple H to win it with the help of Kevin Nash. And this is pretty much going to be Kevin Nash actually gets a contract with the WWE. And also, Triple H turns heel. CM Punk turns into a baby face. So yeah, that's my prediction video. I hope you enjoy the rest of my day in the life of. 
And yeah, uh, I'll see you when I'm on the road. And I'll see you when I'm at the first Niagara Center. I think that's what it's called now.